So many people are not seeing the results they want from their crack heel home remedies because they're missing crucial steps in their heel care routine. In today's video, I'm going to show you the best way to cure cracked heels for good with a proper step-by-step -step sequence that no one else is talking about. Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Kim. I've been one of the only holistic podiatrists in this country for well over 30 years. I get countless questions from patients, friends, and subscribers on how to cure super dry cracked heels at home using natural remedies. Let's get right into the video. So now let's talk about the seven easy steps to cure the cracked heels. And this has to be done in a sequence and to reverse these seven things that we talked about on the last video about the seven surprising causes. So we need to reverse all of these things. Now, first one, there's no oil. We talked about no sebaceous gland at the bottom of the feet, which is making the area very dry and not having any elasticity that's causing a problem. A lot of people are not sweating enough because you are not moving enough, you're not exercising, and, and not sweating is a big problem because there's no oil there. So you need to be sweating and lubricating through sweat, but that's not being done. Also deficiency of nutrients. We talked about not enough sweat, all the nutrients that are in the sweat, such as obviously water, but also a lot of heavy minerals uh, and also other uh, immune, uh, immune cells, a lot of uh, like ammonia and urea, a lot of things that are byproduct of uh, protein synthesis. A lot of those things uh, need a lot of nutrients, which is uh, not being produced. And then the medical conditions like gaining weight through thyroid problems or diabetes or pregnancy and other things. And then obviously uh, aging was a big problem of uh, causing this cracked heel. And also the bad habits, the shower habits, your activity habits, your hygiene habits that are causing um, this cracked heel. And these are the things that we need to reverse. We just want to remind you that these steps have to be done in correct order to make it very effective. So pay attention to the, the sequence of things that are being done right now. So step one is to soften your cracked heels. How do we soften it? There are two different ways. Obviously, we talked about the shower habits. You don't want to be in the hot shower too long. So less than 10 minutes of lukewarm water. I know you love hot shower, but uh, you have to do that. You use natural soap also without all the other ingredients that are artificial, like scent and a lot of chemicals that are in there. And, and also your soaking habits. You want to soak right after you come out of the shower when it's well softened up and you will soften up even more with a good amount of soaking with Epsom salt and apple cider vinegar. So there's two habits that are really important to soften your heel first. So as you can see, we're going from the outside to the inside now. So most thing, uh, most important thing you have to do from the outside, you first need to soften. And then you need to uh, thin or exfoliate. You need to get this thick callus tissue out of that area. And there are two different ways to do it. It's one, one is to physically do it using some tools and or you can use some of the cream and other agents to be able to soften the area. And not only that, you would exfoliate and thin the area. So physically, you can use a uh, foot file, which is sold all over the internet. You can buy some and has a nice handle that you can really grab hold of the heel and then uh, really kind of exfoliate and take it out. And then also there's something called pet egg. It looks like a shape of an egg that looks like a file. It's easier to grab and you'll be able to uh, exfoliate at the same time. Or you can use pumice stone like this one, which is most commonly used and very uh, mild, but a very good way to soften this area. And also uh, you can use other, uh, there are many, many, there are literally hundreds of products out there, but you basically want to use urea, which is a very uh, softening and exfoliating agent. It's called Flexorel heel balm or salicylic acid, which is an acid product that actually exfoliate, take care of a lot of the thick skin and carousel is one of the products. And also alpha hydroxy acid, which is another very powerful uh, exfoliating agent. It's amylactin is the uh, uh, brand name. And also there's many, many foot peeling masks. You put it on a certain amount of time and then the whole, whole literally skin, whole thing just falls um, and peels off. And those masks you can use at the same time. And the next thing you do, so, so far you've been doing is you've been softening it with a shower and, and soaking habits. And then now you're going to exfoliate with a physical method of using the files, or you can use a bunch of different kinds of cream to exfoliate, get rid of the thick skin and going deeper into it now, because the fissures or the uh, deep cracks are quite deep. 
you want to get to that area utilizing this cream. These are just some samples of it. There are many, many other products that are really, really good. Uh, one's called Zoom Rub, and the other one called Dr. Teal's Foot Cream, and also Miracle Foot Repair Cream. These are the creams that are excellent cream that would really uh, moisturize the area and soften the area inside deeper into the area. And if you do have really deep cracks, I highly recommend you use liquid bandage that are sold and you use that during the day and you use other methods at nighttime. And then number four is now you have it all softened up and then you exfoliate it or thinned it out and then you put the moisture and then wet the area. Now you need to seal it and lock it in. And this was a very important portion that I didn't even know about, is that you need to lock the moisture inside so it can work overnight. So these are the things you would like to use. Coconut oil, obviously olive oil. These are all natural oil that are excellent. And then also shea butter, petroleum jelly, or even Vaseline would be very helpful to seal the area so the moisture can stay inside and work throughout the night so that it will work very well throughout the whole time, okay? And then obviously you can use gel socks. You can put it on, it's got a lot of gel. Uh, lubricating the area of the heel and gel sleeves also. It's got a lot of uh, things that are softening and you can wear it throughout the night and also use cotton socks. A lot of people love cotton socks. This is the only time I recommend cotton socks. Let me repeat that. This is the only time that I recommend cotton socks because cotton socks are really good at wicking the moisture but it does not evaporate the moisture. In other words, it, it keeps the moisture in so this is a really good way to keep the moisture in using cotton socks if you happen to be sweating a lot this is not a good socks to wear and then the fifth one is your shoes so now your shoes and hygiene is very important next step to get uh, taken care of your cracked heels your shoes with good support we talked about not having heel cup or wearing sandals it will spread out the heel area allow that area to crack and open up so it's important to have the heel cup and uh, using really good supported shoes will be very important. Also, we talked about hygiene so that you don't get fungal infection. Fungal infection causes dryness around the area because fungus loves moisture. It sucks all the moisture out of the area, which will make the area crack and bleed and other issues. So you want to rotate the shoes all the time because that's where they live. So you want to let it out, let it air out, and then you put a spray, antifungal spray into it. You want to change your socks so then you do not have it too wet because now that can cause fungal infection. Next one, you need to hydrate and nourish. We talked about on the last video as well that we're not hydrating ourselves. So you need to drink half of your body weight in fluid ounce per day. So let's say you wear 200 pounds, then you need to divide that by two. So you need to drink about 100 fluid ounce per day, which is about four bottles of water. That's a lot of water, not during your meal, but in between meals, you need to lubricate and hydrate your whole body through drinking plenty of water. And we also talked about low salt diet is dangerous. Uh, the best way to do is have some salt, but also have good amount of uh, potassium, uh, such as avocado would be excellent. Banana is also good too, but it's got a lot of sugar, so you have to be careful, especially somebody like myself. So increasing good fat like avocado will be an excellent thing. Reducing the sugar, because sugar causes inflammation and dryness throughout your whole blood and throughout your whole body. So reducing the sugar would be really important. Increasing vegetables, because it's got a lot of nutrients, a lot of vitamins and minerals in the uh, vegetables. So you want to increase the vegetable. We talked about good fat. Avocado a day keeps the doctor away. I know you're used to hearing an uh, apple a day keeps the doctor away. I say, yes, that's true too, but I also say avocado a day keeps your doctor away. And then obviously supplementing vitamins and minerals will be very helpful to produce a really good amount of sweat and makes you healthier, alkalize your whole body, make you lose weight. All of these will be very helpful to improve your cracked heels. Last but the least is not the least is the improved medical conditions. We talked about regular exercise so you can sweat out all the toxins, all the byproduct of the protein synthesis, all of that needs to be uh, getting out of your body. It's number one way to detoxify is through your sweat. So you need to sweat, you need to exercise. It's really healthy for you. And improve gut health. I didn't touch a lot about the health. There are a lot of other videos that I've created in the past are talking about gut health. If you don't have really good gut health, all the good food that you're eating is not broken down and packaged and then sent to liver to distribute throughout the whole body. In other words, you can eat all the organic great food and vegetables and fruits and all of these great things, but if you don't have good bacteria in your gut, if you don't have good vegetables in your gut, then it cannot break down your food to nourish your whole body. So it's very important to 
improve your gut health. You need good collagen, good protein, good vegetable, good, good all kinds of good things, natural things to improve your gut health, especially probiotics and fermented food, which will help absorb all the nutrients into your body. And managing stress, moment you're stressed, all the good eating, all the good drinking will be out the window because when you are stressed, nothing works in your body. It's gonna uh, acidify your body, it's gonna dry your heel, it's gonna make your heel crack. So it is very important to manage your stress. On top of that, one of the most important thing is to be happy, is to laugh aloud. When you do that, all the good hormones will come out, it's gonna bathe your body, it's gonna lubricate your body, it's gonna help um, so many things uh, in your whole body. So it's very important to stay happy, be laughing, having fun and doing all the things you do. And when you improve your medical condition, it's gonna improve your weight issues, improve your dryness issue, improve your metabolism, so you can improve your cracked heels. Now you're equipped with everything you need to know to cure your cracked heels at home. But these steps must be done in correct order to ensure you're receiving the quickest, best results possible. For more educational foot videos like this one, check out my next video. Until then, get educated, be empowered, encourage others today.